we were really interested in terms of the sound design and this larger sense of immersing the audience that's coming to the museum in giving this sort of sense of theatricality. So this is a historical museum. Uh, many of the things that you'll see and read throughout are historical and, and they're either documentary or they're actual artifacts themselves. Uh, but we wanted to be able to have layer in some of this additional experience that would really take you back to that time in a way that's a little more emotional, it's a little more poetic, and we were able to do that with the sound um, because we could draw in all these sources and sort of have this history, but it didn't have to be you know, sort of 100% uh, grounded in an actual source material of uh, recorded text. We could bring in actors, we could um, actually create our own new sounds, and I think that was really something, especially in the Becoming Liberty soundscape, which we hadn't discussed yet, uh, that was really interesting for us. As we knew for Constructing Liberty, it's going to be a historical recreation of the workshop where the statue was built. In the opening ceremony, we knew that we really wanted to take people right back to that day when the statue was inaugurated, but what do we do when we want to give the sort of culminating moment for the museum? That's, we, we, that was something that was really a, a unique kind of invention that we had to come up with, and so it was a real collaboration to think about how we could make it uh, both ambient, also uh, not jarring, as Jeremy was describing, when you move between the spaces, it should feel interconnected, something that we were really excited about when Jeremy came to us with the idea was maybe we're actually taking some of the musical uh, melodies and uh, different tones from the original music that was played at the opening ceremony, folding those into a new soundscape that's actually generative, it's built in software, it has a digital component, it's sort of always fresh and new, uh, but it's never going to feel separate from the other pieces because it's actually built on some of the same sonic components.